So check this out. This is how my day went. So last night I was in Williamsburg, which is like uh, where I was at maybe fifty something miles from Richmond. So boom. I got my goals written out, my plan written out for the day. I said boom. I had two people to talk to about marketing deals. One dude ain't never called me back. So the other dude, I got to Richmond, it was like eight. Eight this morning, something like that. So, boom, I get to Richmond at eight. I go to meet. One dude was like, he was gonna hit me up today. He never responded. I mean, it is what it is. That's typical of Richmond. So I go to this other guy, and uh, <clears throat> you know, he's supposed to write me a check for $8,000. Man, you have already done 90% of the work. Get there, he is this, that, and the third. All right, cool. I got to go. I can't, I can't sit still. Like, no, nah, man, listen to me, bro. I don't have the kind of life, man. When you say you ain't got my money, or you fucking me out of money, or anything close to me not getting my money, I need to go. One, I don't want hurt nobody. Two, you ain't shit. And three, bro, I got to get some money. Like, like right now, look, I got clothes right here. I'm gonna go wash clothes. I don't have no mama or no girl doing that shit for me. I, I ain't living in nobody's fucking house for free and they paying my bills. No, everything that I do, I'm responsible for. When it comes to paying bills, it's me. When it comes to doing cookouts, it's me. Getting the food, gathering the food, cooking the food. Uh, when it comes to hand making clothes, it's me. You know what I'm saying? So let me finish telling you about my day. So I get to Richmond about eight, nine, something like that. One dude ain't respond. So I go see the other dude, you know, basically he ain't got the money. I ain't got time to hit that shit. Boom, I'm peeling. So, boom. I was like, well, let me stop put some gas in my car. Bro, when I go to look in my pockets, and it's only because I was getting ready to wash clothes. So the clothes I had on last night, which was, which old pair of pants got my belt on, which was these. I had them on last night, so I got something different on now. And I got the rich was like, damn, I had like a dollar and 18 or 19 cent in my pocket. I'm like, fuck it. So I go to Verona, I know I can make money in Verona off the pepper spray. I go to Verona, but it's 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. First day of school, ain't nobody coming to the store. So, boom, I know I gotta meet Leah. You know what I mean? To go over this real estate deal. And I know I gotta meet Mr. Brown. So I called Leah. Leah has a uh, shout out to Leah. Leah Coleman. That's my realtor, my go to lady. You know what I mean? So I called Leah. You know what I mean? We converse for a minute. And uh, I tell Leah, you know, I left my shit in uh, Williamsburg. And so. You know, I called, I asked her what time we meet. She said two, be good for her. I called dude, we met at two. So round one, I had seen an ad on Craigslist, 1231, I seen an ad on Craigslist that said, uh, well-paid driver, whatever, to pull this uh, trailer to area of Pennsylvania. So I said, fuck it, I got a truck. I ain't got shit else to do. You know what I mean? Called the lady, she was like, all right, I pay for your gas. And then the ad they had on there said something like $300. I was like, fuck it, I do it for six. And she was like, bet, we need that shit here. I was like, man, $300 just ain't no money. They ain't even 50 cent a mile. Give me $600. She was like, bet, if you can get it here, uh, when my husband come home, I'll pay you that. I said, bet, cool. So me, Leah, and Mr. Brown met. We talked about the details of the house. We talked about the details of other houses. Boom, I left. I ain't had no gas in the car. Leah put some gas in the car for me. Thank you, Leah. I shoot the Glen Allen where I'm supposed to pick the trailer up at. So man, you I'm in Southside. I shoot the Glen Allen, that's about 20 miles. When I get to Glen Allen, I call the dude, he's like, man, I'm on the way. He's like, all right, they give me the address. I can't find the address. Bro, I called the man back, was like, look, bro, I can't find the address. I'm in the area, though. I'm on the street, you told me. Uh, Washington Highway or some shit. I said, I'm on the street that you told me I can't find the place. 
He was like, man, don't worry about it. We gone. Meet us in Fredericksburg. I said, all right, fuck it. I, I really need the money. I leave Glen Allen, go to Fredericksburg. When I get to Fredericksburg, bro, I'm waiting on him. I'm like, where y'all at? We stopped to eat. We be there in seven minutes. I meet them. When they come up, bro, he got this dumb, big-ass trailer. And I'm like, man, fuck it. I'll try to tow that bitch. He unhooked. He had a dually. He unhooked the trailer from his dually. And he looked on the back. He said, man, what size um, ball is that? I said, the hitch. I said, well, I told your wife it's a two-inch hitch. He said, man, that shit ain't going to work. Mine, two and five-eighths. You got to have two and five-eighths to pull something this big. So, bro, listen, I had rode from Richmond all the way to Fredericksburg, bro. And that fucking, you know, it was like 3 o'clock traffic. That shit is horrible. And it's way worse coming back. He said, man, you ain't going to be able to tow it, whatever, whatever. That nigga gave me $9, bro. Mind you, I hadn't made not even a dollar today. I politely took the nine dollars. I got in my truck and I just said, Thank you, Lord. And I pulled up. Left uh, Fredericksburg, went straight to Williamsburg. I had my clothes in the hotel in Williamsburg. Grabbed my clothes out the hotel in Williamsburg. Came back. Got a room in Richmond, and now I'm on my way to wash my clothes. Wash and dry my clothes. This basically was my whole day. Most people would go crazy after a day like that, but bro, I'm used to it. Struggle built my strength. You know, like like I always say, man, I'm not in the position where I can freak out and yell and scream and cry. I mean, I might cry, but I'm crying on my way to a solution. I might freak out, but I'm freaking out on my way to a solution. Like, ain't, ain't shit gonna happen for me. I don't have the kind of life to be like, well, you know what? I ain't gotta worry about this shit. Such and such gonna take care of it. I, I, I don't have that life. If I don't do it, or God don't do it, it won't get done. So, I'm, I'm just, and my, my day is not even done. It's like 7.30, well, I ain't going to be out long. My hair light out. I need to go buy another one, but I got that water and the light. I, I should have been bought that shit. But I, I buy one. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow. But I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't done. I ain't finished. I damn sure ain't quitting. It is what it is, man. Price is doing this shit. To whom much is given, much more is expected. So, but I'm expected to do big things, so I'm expected to go through and handle big shit. You feel me? It is what it is, man. Ones that are done, you too can. I thought right now I'd be on the highway driving, listening to my music, on my way to get a check. But like my nigga told me like this. My nigga said, man, you was going way up there in the truck. I said, yeah. He said, man, towing that big ass trailer, just think about it. Imagine you towing that much weight. He said, God probably did you a favor. He said, imagine you towing that much weight and you hit hit a pothole and flatten your tire or fuck the rim up and you 10 miles from them people's house. You think them people going to help you or what? He was like, man, that was a blessing you ain't go. Don't look at it as no curse. Look at it as a blessing. He said, man, you got somewhere to sleep tonight? I said, yeah. He said, you got money to get something to eat? I said, yeah. He said, shit, go lay it down. And do something bigger than mine. You, you'll figure it out, but... Man, you got to look at shit like that as a blessing. Bro, you could ride four hours away. And you just say you ain't got no bad. You know what I mean? He ain't in a rental, bro. He ain't got a pocket full of money. Or making a lot of money. That shit ain't worth it. He was right. That's just how my day went, but... I ain't stopping. I'm going to wash my clothes, man. I don't play no games, bro. I'm going to get to this bag, bro. Not bags. I'm going to get to these bags. Raw squirrel clothing money bags. And nothing gonna stop me, bro. I might hit uh, speed bumps. I might go through stuff. I'm human. I just have superhuman gifts.